Ladies, this is how you know if a guy's just not that interested. Boys, you can correct me if I'm wrong. First of all, ladies, if the fantasies you have in your head and like the scenarios you're making up in your head are better than in real life, it's telling, it's telling. Y'all barely talk. Not FaceTiming, not texting, barely even talk in person, like, He's not that into you. It's calling other girls hot around you. Like, babe, at this point, he literally hates you. He probably wants you to fuck off. To be honest, he probably does. So if he's out here, like, calling other girls attractive all the time in front of you, not giving two shits, he hates you. He hates you. If you're constantly making excuses for his behavior, like, oh, he's probably busy. That's probably why this, this, this. He's doing blah, blah, blah. That's probably why he's not talking to me. He had this happen. That's why his attitude's all weird. If you're constantly making excuses, you're just not facing reality. He's not into you and you're not ready to accept that. She acts a little different around you versus other people. Like in a way where she's almost like a little more nervous, a little more like cautious of what she's doing, what she's saying. If she actually texts you or like answers your DMs or whatever, that's usually a pretty good sign because like if we don't want you, we just, we don't be answering. In person, she'll make an attempt to be around you and probably even try to have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. If she laughs and like hits you a little bit or like touches you in some way, She's into you. A while back, I heard a saying that said, um, if, if a boy likes you, you will know. If he doesn't, you'll be confused. And it stands motherfucking true, okay? If you're having doubts, if you're having like, wait, what's going on? He, do he don't like you. He don't, he, nope, nope, he does not, okay? But when a guy likes you, you just know. Like, they talk to you all the time. You're never having any concerns. You're chilling and vibing and living your best life. And this man just confirmed it, okay? If you're questioning whether we like you or not, we don't like you, LOL. Stay strong, ladies. Listen, babe, I'm going to tell you because it's so fucking easy, you won't even believe it. All you have to do is pretend. Like, literally just pretend to be confident. If I was like, be happy, you'd be like, <laughs> act happy. If I said, like, act sad, you'd be like, hmm, I'm sad, whatever. So now when I say, act confident, whatever confident looks like in your head, just act like that all the time. So if it's standing up straight, like shoulders rolled back, talking in a clear voice, walking around in a confident manner, whatever it is, just do it just do it all the time and then eventually it's just like not an act anymore you just kind of like merge into one and become a whole person with this new act and that's literally all it is most confident people are just faking it these are some things i've learned about girls who are insanely pretty these insanely beautiful girls are barely getting hit on because everyone thinks like oh my god they're so attractive like i can't even try because everyone's probably going for them and since everyone thinks that no one is hitting on them like even me when i see like a fine ass motherfucker i'm like oh my god he's so cute i would never try because i know he has bitches so their insecurities constantly get invalidated because they're pretty so they shouldn't complain so much fucking jealousy and negativity from the people around them guys are mad that they could never get with them so they're bitter and rude their friends tend to have ulterior motives and low-key hope something bad happens to that friend because they're so jealous a lot of the times their friends won't even invite them to come somewhere because they're too pretty and like they wouldn't want all the attention to be on that person These are some things I've learned about being in a big friend group. There's always another group chat with like the main people, like the most liked people of the group. And if you're like, no, there isn't, what the fuck? You're not one of the main people and you're not in it. Everyone talks shit about each other. There is something they all hate about each other and they will find a way to talk about it when that person isn't there. There's always one or two people who are like the punching bags of the group and like everyone just kind of like treats them like absolute horseshit. And in general, I find them all to be very toxic and very clicky and very not good. Moral of the story, um, keep a small friend group. Questions girls want to know the answer to. What's an instant turn off? When a girl checks her phone too much on the first date. What's the first thing guys notice in a girl? Well, for me, it's appearance. What her style is, how she dresses. Does body count matter? I don't think so. I mean, you're never really going to know someone's true body count anyway, so... I think as long as you just vibe with them and, and that's that. Should guys pay on the first date? Every time. Usually. Period. But if the girl's adamant about taking me on a date and I'm going to her favorite spot and she wants to treat, be my guest. <laughs> Do you guys like to chase or be chased? 
I think uh, I think guys like to chase because that's just naturally who we are. Um, but secretly, deep down, guys love to be chased. Like they want a girl to chase after them a little bit. You know, don't make it too hard, ladies. Like we love hard to get, but don't make it too hard. But if she's too like quick and easy and available, is that like bad or is that? Not at all. <laughs>